Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I wanna to talk a little bit about why graphics cards in the PC building space are still in either very limited supply or still very expensive for those of you looking to either build for the first time or upgrade an existing system. Now, a lot of the current availability issues with graphics cards have been traced back to cryptocurrency miners. Specifically, Ethereum and Zcash seem to be very popular among those miners that are using GPUs to mine because they are resistant to ASIC miners unlike things like Bitcoin. Another thing that makes those GPUs very attractive to those miners is that when the bubble bursts, and eventually it probably will, or at least the market will correct itself, those GPUs that those miners have in large quantities then can unload them and actually sell those back and make a good chunk of the money they invested in them in the first place back, which really gives them a little bit more profit as an exit strategy. Whereas ASIC miners, when the bubble bursts, when they become unprofitable or technology just moves on and makes those specific ASIC miners um, obsolete, there's really nothing you can do with them other than set them on your desk as a very heavy paperweight. And of course, the natural reaction from PC gamers then becomes why aren't companies just making more GPUs, your EVGAs, MSIs, ASUSs, and other companies that make those cards, why aren't they just pumping more cards into the market? Well, the story really stops and ends with just how unpredictable cryptocurrency seems to be. Those companies likely didn't see the price of things like Ethereum explode floating through the roof towards the end of 2017 and early in 2018, which led to miners investing a huge amount of money into buying up cards that were relatively cheap at the end of 2017. They were actually, for the most part, almost all the cards were around MSRP at the end of last year. So those miners were eating up those cards because the price was exploding on Ethereum and they saw a way to make a big profit by investing a lot of money into buying those cards while they remained cheap. And of course, those companies didn't see that explosion in price coming, so they weren't flooding the market, figuring that most of the stock would be sold through Christmas and that a lot of people wouldn't be buying those cards past Christmas, whereas miners obviously filled that gap in the market and bought up tons of cards in the weeks following Christmas. So then those graphics card manufacturers, once they see that there's an explosion in demand, have to actually place orders for additional GPUs from the manufacturers like AMD or Nvidia, depending on which cards they're making. And of course, once they actually get those orders in house, they can start to build the cards. And to some extent, we've actually seen GPU manufacturers responding to the increased demand from miners. AMD at the very end of January said that they were ramping up GPUs GPU production, but the limiting factor here doesn't even seem to be the silicon for the GPUs themselves. It looks like we're running into a RAM issue as well. Now, for those of you that have been paying attention, you'll know that RAM prices have been through the roof this year. Uh, specifically in the last couple weeks, though, they have started to come down a little bit, but DDR4 RAM is very expensive, and we see the same problems on the VRAM side of things as well, whether we're talking about GDDR5 or HBM memory. So although AMD and Nvidia can supply card manufacturers with plenty of actual GPUs, it looks like the limiting factor here is the card manufacturer's abilities to get their hands on RAM. And of course, it looks like we're in a bit of a catch-22 situation here because RAM manufacturers are either gonna produce DDR4 RAM and make that cheaper, or they can produce VRAM, which would cause DDR4 RAM to then increase in price, but it would lead to wider availability of graphics cards. But then if they go back to producing DDR4 to make that cheaper, then graphics cards are out of stock again because they don't have enough VRAM to supply card manufacturers with the VRAM they need. So it's sort of a situation where it's a lose-lose, unfortunately. But through all this, there is a little bit of good news, and I have mentioned this recently. As of the filming of this video, Bitcoin and Ethereum and really cryptocurrencies across the board are down drastically compared to where they were a couple of weeks ago. Bitcoin, for example, I just checked, it was around the $8,500 mark. And with cryptocurrency sort of much lower than it was, while difficulties remain fairly high for mining those, it looks like miners probably won't be gobbling up GPUs uh, whenever they hit the store shelves because it's impossible for them to know whether they'll be able to get that investment back in a reasonable period of time right now. And of course, if cryptocurrency continues trending downward, then the people that already own those graphics cards may see their cards become not profitable at all or very marginally profitable to the point where they may flood the used market with GPUs trying to get out ahead of everyone else before all the miners start selling their cards. So there may be a flood of used cards hitting the market fairly soon 
if that trend continues. But of course, there's always the flip side to that. If cryptocurrency does recover nicely, then GPU miners may go right back to buying them off of the store shelves whenever they hit them, and it may lead to a uh, longer term shortage than we'd like to admit. But regardless, hopefully that gives you at least a little bit of insight as to why graphics cards manufacturers are having trouble meeting demand. It's really impossible to predict demand when miners account for such a large chunk of that demand. And even if you do move to fill the demand with more supply, it takes time to get that done. And unfortunately, a lot of people may start to turn away from PC gamers out of either impatience or just frustration with the market in general and turn towards consoles. And if that's you, I would encourage you to give it a little bit more time before you make that decision because I really do think that the PC is still the best platform for gaming. But of course, you may always disagree with me. Let me know down below if you are a PC gamer fleeing over to the consoles. Maybe you were saving up money for a PC and don't see that as feasible anymore. Let us know those uh, thoughts down below. And of course, if you like this content, give it a like, a share, subscribe, and comment down below. Help out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They're the same tag for your convenience. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you guys in the next video.